We were here yesterday all day setting up tents and whatever. I was here at five o'clock this morning. The event started at eight. Unlike some of the events where you're in a very closed area, this one is six city blocks, so it doesn't feel as crowded. I just think it's a great experience for everybody to come down. Um, there's opportunities for families of all ages to have things to do. It's not specifically children or adults. What Idea Space does is involve the community through arts, culture, and film, film screenings and exhibitions since 2008. So that would be six years now that we've been working working with local schools K through 12. We have classes come and they explore the gallery with, uh, with CC students and then also with their educators, with their classroom. And they come in and then they do a development project uh, looking at the gallery and looking at what they're learning in school, color, shape, line, things like that with uh, elementary school children. We have been in existence since 1961, so for 53 years we've been Westside Preschool. For this project we have been doing three different art activities with kids of all ages and families coming together. And we're doing tennis ball art, fly swatter art, and baby bottle art. Working with kids, kids you know, all through the festival today. This is the third annual event this year. Uh, we're uh, expecting potentially over 4,000 people this year. The last two years we raised over 75,000 for Waldo Canyon restoration, flood mitigation, and local trails and parks. I'm just really happy to be here. It's been fun. Uh, KRCC has a music stage with a bunch of local music acts. Uh, Tony Exum is wailing on the uh, soprano saxophone as we speak. Uh, we just think it's a great fun day for families and um, all of the experiences are free, so come on down. Yeah. Be creative and you know be innovative, just like the What If Festival. Just you know, kind of take you know all this knowledge and you know these great ideas and really implement them within our community. Once you get active and experience it, then it makes a big difference. You know, it makes a difference not just I think in your connection with people, but in who you know yourself to be. Coming to a sense of of art as being of service in and of itself has been kind of a journey. You know, a journey sort of back to my original love. I really enjoy working with the little kids at the Fine Arts Center. I like seeing the excitement when they get interested in art for the first time. Everything that you think about that makes you happy, you want to share that because then it'll just come back to you even more. I'm part of the Big Brother Big Sister program, helping uh, youth so they don't travel down the wrong path being a uh, positive role model and try to, to uh, increase their life experiences. In Boy Scouts, I went to a soup kitchen and I helped serve the food and clean up. I can tell you that you meet the most amazing people with the most amazing stories and it just is a great opportunity and it's so enriching for both you and the people that you're serving. There's a quote that I really like and it says, you've never lived a perfect day until you've done something for somebody that can never repay you. That's the way I like to look at it, like giving something to somebody that, and not expecting anything back. It could be as something as cleaning up an area or it can be offering a hand to someone. Um, it just, it's just improving the, life, the likelihood or the living conditions of everything around. If by doing something can help one person, then I've done my job. I feel inspired by this year of service to try and connect with other people. If you want more love in your life, and you want more compassion in your life, you want more kindness in your life, go out and be kind. Go out and love someone. Go out and be compassionate to another, and then you will have those things. Yours for other people, and no one can ever take that away from you.